everybody. Welcome back to another segment of What It Is. I am your host, Josh Gibson of Fourth Wall Players. And I am your other host, Kelly McKinney of Hohenheim Productions. And, and this... Go... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, we're both so excited. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this week, we are taking a look at a very uh, rather interesting casting decision. They're casting star Pedro Pascal as Joel in HBO's The Last of Us TV show. Mm -hmm. So The Last of Us is being adapted into a TV series. A++. Good to go. Excellent. Already a cinematic game to adapt yeah. it into a more fulfilling, like, right. you know, some viewing experience that is less interactive, I guess. For This is a story that, as a video game, should definitely be out to the masses via series form right so like i'm totally about it this says this is a like so many video games to series or movies fail hardcore and the witcher set good standards okay for Still video games that. no i i've i've, I've only been told that they did a great job. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, uh, well, so. I mean, everybody loved it. That's why we did a yeah. you know, meme for sure. Yes. episode about it. Check that out. Yeah, you'll find that. It'll be over here, actually. Um, wait, no, wait. One of these corners. Somewhere. Anyway, yes. <laughs> but so, The Last of Us is a video game, like I said, that like made me cry. It was that, it was that good. He cries um, a lot. Yes. Cried everything. Cried everything. <laughs> this this news made me cry. Uh, no, but Pedro Pascal, I'm most interested to see because Joel, the character, I know you don't know this, is from Texas, so he has. Oh, okay. A heavy. So he's gonna Texas. do like his accent, basically from uh, the Kingsman Two. Yeah, right. Well, and I'm thinking, but I'm I'm also picturing basically Andrew Lincoln and and as Rick in The Walking Dead. Oh, okay, fair you enough. You know what I mean? Like, fair enough. Because it's the same sort of deal where we've got. You know who else would be really good at? I know they made a abysmal movie a couple years ago with Idris Elba. Sorry, Idris. He'd be a good role in Shane. Oh, yeah. From the Dark Tower series. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yep, so I used to say Nathan power. Fillion was my dream casting, but he's a little he's a little old now. So yeah, Pedro Pascal. But yeah, and so the thing is, is that um, I mean, I'm I'm excited about this. I I just am more curious about the accent because so much of um, I mean, especially because it's voiceover, right, in the games, right. So you it comes from that more, gruff, yeah. you know, like fatherly tone as part of what we came to love about the Joel character. Right. So Pedro Pascal, which we know brings great charisma and energy to the screen, still right. has to match that in order to make us love Joel the way we do right. in the games. Well, I feel like since he basically did, I mean, it wasn't technically voice acting, but he basically voice acted in The Mandalorian as far as like what he had to do to make himself interesting with his voice. Yeah. I would... I th I think he'd be a good person it, to to you know do that. And he definitely hides his accent in the Mandalorian. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um so hold on. Now the girl who played Liana Mormont wait. She was the young she was like the little girl ruler of um, Bear Island or whatever. Yeah, and I've I've just gotta pull up a picture of her real quick. To so remind yourself? Just so I can see if I can picture her as Ellie. Aha, uh -huh. see, they've got some side by sides. Oh, I don't know. It's the, um, it's the bridge of her nose that. Yeah, like her nose and eyes are completely different shape, which, I mean, it's a video game, so. Well, the but... problem is that we. It's Elliot Page now. Otherwise. Oh, right, I got you. Right, yeah. Right. Yeah. Otherwise, Ellen Page would have been perfect. Right. Well, she's also a little old too. Yeah. No. For sure. Yeah. Yes. 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 Um, but th this this will be interesting. I mean, especially if they're gonna. St I wonder when they've started production. I mean, when they're going plan to start production for the simple fact that I feel like she still has some aging to do before she's gonna feel old like Ellie. Oh. And then not only that, but is this a? Is how this recent is that picture of her? Well, oh. I'm also wondering if she's an American actor. Uh, she's an English actress and singer. So, again, the 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 I worry about the accent, mm -hmm. right? Because and you have a Texas girl too. No, it's Midwestern, oh, okay. which is 
you know, it, it's easy for, it's easier, sorry, you know what I mean, to offend English actors. It's easier for English actors to do a southern accent because it's so close it's to, like... It's similar to, like, their speaking patterns exactly. and whatnot, yeah. Whereas a Midwestern accent is so, like, flat and, you know, uh, I, I just picture Daphne from Frasier going, I don't know what to do with my eyes. Yeah. And, you know, and it sounds like arse. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. And it's like, just from, from a perspective of living in the Midwest, like, it's, it is so not specific. Like, like a Midwest, like, there are so many different tiny variations of it. Right. You know, and yeah. so it's kind of hard from to... From state to state. Even fucking city to city. Like you city to, well, yeah, yeah. You go up yeah, to yeah. like you know Fort Wayne as opposed to Gary, Indiana, and it's two completely different dialects. Yeah, dialects, and it's it's insane that way. But right, yeah, or or Minnesota, and mostly you just got to talk like you know you've got gravel in your mouth. You just got to sort of, <laughs> you just got to sort of your words and I like I had to work really hard on articulation mm. when I got into acting. So yeah, no, I mean it's. It's important. It's especially important for stage acting. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. So, what do you guys think about? Sorry. No, no. Wait, wait, wait. Back to the back to the. What do you article. all think about the the casting decisions for the Last of Us uh, mm -hmm. HBO series? Mm -hmm. Hi guys, thank you so much for watching our video. Uh, if you'd like to keep watching, go ahead and click like and subscribe underneath. We wanted to take a moment to realize that 2020 has been an awfully rough year for everybody, and we appreciate your continued support. Um, if you'd like to support us even more, we have another YouTube channel called Fourth Wall Players. That's more about the live theater side of things.